Hi, I just saw a post on the internet about GNOME, the new GNOME coming out. And maybe you saw one of those posts as well. And you're wondering, at clicks, will it have it, right? This might be come, come, to an, uh, come as a surprise to many people. So, so I thought, let's make a video about this. But ArchLinux is 90% ArchLinux. So if Arch gives us a new GNOME, if Arch gives us a new Plasma, we get it. The only thing you need to do is wait, right? Two, ArchLinux is a rolling release, AKA, Arclix is a rolling release. So if you go to the downloads and you get yourself a GNOME a B ISO, right? A GNOME ISO, then you have the GNOME from that period when it was built, right? It's a frozen moment in time. And when you do an advanced, you get immediately the update. And if you do the easy installation, you update later and you get also the new GNOME. If you have already GNOME installed on your operating system, on your, on your system, your PC, right? You just type update. Guess what? You get the new GNOME. All clear until now. Then there's another option. I said, no, I want to have the ISO with the new GNOME, right? No problem. Home, Arknex B, build your own ISO. Now, this moment, this morning, right? Control F. GNOME. There it is. All you need to do is copy paste a few lines, watch the video, change maybe something and run script number 40. Done. Result an ISO with the new GNOME. Now there is another one, another option, which is why I'm making also this video. If that is all too complex, that's, then there is even this little app that we've created recently and it's called sudo pacman minus s the Arclinux app. It's an educational project, right? And there's a dev version from it and your version. So the app dev get is mine. Let it be on my machine. And the other one is Arclinux app git. That's yours. So you install that and you can launch it with Arclinux app AA or you type the words out. If you installed it, Derek, because, because of the fact that I'm now developing something new, right? Working with Glade, if you're interested. So it's about programming. I have the AAG now, which is at this point in time, exactly the same thing, but it will change, right? This is not Glade yet. So the front end will change. So if you want to have the Arclix B, you know, you click on the button here. And if you click on the button, it creates an ISO and it will be in your home directory and then it will, you can use it, burn it on USB, put it in VirtualBox and have a look at the new GNOME. And this applies of course, every desktop, not just the hot talk of the, the week, let's say, the new GNOME version. Now, this made me curious, right? So, Super F7, <laughs> what's all about this new GNOME? Clone. You knew. And you put it in there. You have a look. I say, so what, right? Uh, where is it built? Article XB out. It's a new GNOME of this morning. So I run it, take a shower, come back. It's here. Simple, right? Couldn't be easier. Building a GNOME. Three lines, you know the drill. You put up. I have a look around. You don't even need to install it, right? Just stay in the live environment, play around with it and say yes or no. All right, it's your decision. <coughs> but let's have a look at it. And GNOME used to start up with this strange little window. I suppose it will do that again. Now 
this is what I mean, right? It's like, huh, what's happening here? You have to click in here and then up, oh, it's active. So either you're on the beach or you're not on the beach. Either you have all kinds of issues with VPN, the country blocking you, ISP blocking you, all kinds of problems with the internet, easy installation for you, right? This is what you, pro what all the other distributions provide, and this is what we provide extra. If your internet is working, if the servers are okay, if the keys are okay, and so many other variables are okay, you can download it immediately, install it immediately. Now, I've built it five minutes ago, it stopped, right? So the ISO couldn't be any more up to date, right? There's no, not necessary to go in here. But we can have a look, all right, like I said, in here already a little bit. So see what's in here, see what has changed, if anything has changed. And of course, read some articles on the matter. Did items change? We can make here a screenshot, it seems, right? Screen, window, click, 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 capture, show pointer, screenshot, screen cast, entire screen, window, Okay, that we've learned. This button is going to show us all the settings, which is quite a bit, and it's actually nice. It reminds us as well a little bit on, on Plasma, so it's it's filled, I mean, it's complete, feels complete anyway. And there you go, you've got all these things. I do see an icon that's <laughs> red here, but that's because probably it's pri privacy, right? And privacy is some kind of alert. So even then we need to be aware of all the things that go around us, surround us maybe better. Let's go for dark. Now let's take this one. All right, beautiful notifications about the what's a wallpaper. Do you install an operating system for a wallpaper? I hope not. I hear sometimes people say this has a beautiful wallpaper I think uh, that shouldn't be your choice right that shouldn't be the reason for installing things so English US at this point in time I'm not happy with that not on my end This is one of the desktops that allows you to create another user, meaning your brother wants to get access to the computer. You make his account and then you say you log in with your account and never go on mine, stuff like that. So the version, the version, the version, help maybe. I believe there was something like info somewhere User system settings, not what we want. I have a button up here, info about. I guess that was it. I thought there was another button about GNOME. GNOME version not available. That's what we want to know, loser. So, Info, 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 information, maybe. Where has it gone? Doesn't seem to do the trick there. Control T or right mouse click or terminal. If these things do not work, we have got that one. Yeah, why not? So GNOME 441, that's the one we're looking at. That's the one to talk in the corridors of the internet. And I don't know if you're seeing something new, that's entirely up to you how long ago you went to GNOME. But there it is, the new version. Show all the apps, anything out of the ordinary in the apps. Often I can see it with the Saturday icons. If there's no icon for it, then it's new, right? Like really new. 
But of course, these things can be uh, well can stay the same as name, and then the content changes. Voila! So this is your video. If you want it, you download it, you update, or you, if you have already GNOME, you, know, you update, and you have the scripts. Build your own ISO, Arcanus B, and now you have an app. And then you just play around with the new GNOME, right? Simple as that. Cheers.